Two, 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 two. The Marquette Blues have been on fire to begin the season. The Blues have started their 2014 campaign an impressive 16-1. The Blues took down the Menominee Red Wave twice on Sunday. Tonight, Marquette was challenged by one of the American Legion teams from Dickinson County. The Blues faced off against the visiting Channing Railroaders on a cool night tonight in Marquette next to the Lake Superior. Top of the first we go, Channing already up 1-0 in this one. Michael Zaritz, the pitcher, helped out his own cause by roping one back up the middle. That scored two runs. Zaritz would be called out at second base trying to stretch a double, but the Railroaders led 3-0 after a half inning. Let's go to the bottom of the second. Marquette now at the dish. Ryan Walther hits a chopper down the third baseline. The throw from Zaritz to first was off target. Meanwhile, Levi Underwood was running all the way from first base. He would try scoring on the play. The throw from Brett Gustafson to Ken Pekarik would be on the money. Pekarik makes the tag at home and Underwood was called out. But the Blues would get on the scoreboard later in the inning. Peyton Lombard comes through with an RBI single to left. That would score Walther from third. That made it 5-1 in favor of Channing. The Blues committed five errors in the game and the Railroaders left town with a 5 for win. Marquette is now 16-2 this season. In other baseball action, Marquette Redmond. The Marquette Redmond won two games today against Norway. Redmond pitchers Brett Beauchamp and Gabe Apple each pitched complete games against the Knights. In softball, Nagani picked up two road wins at Norway. Rosalie Anderson threw a no-hitter in game number two for the Miners. Back to the goods, Munising and Ishpeming battled on the hard courts at Ishpeming today. Here is the number one singles matchup between Munising's Noah Ackerman and Ishpeming's Thomas Blue. Let's just watch these two battle for a minute. Back and forth, back and forth. Some close range action. Ackerman would win a point in the first set. Later in the first set, we still stay there. Ackerman on the far end now shows why he's one of the best tennis players in the UP with a big time forehand winner down the line that Blue just could not get to. Ackerman won the match 7-5, 6-2 over Blue. In number one doubles action, Munising led early in the first set. Ishpeming's Josh Penrose wasted no time. His aggressiveness at the net paid off. However, the Munising duo of Chase Nebel and Ian McInnes would win the match 6-1, 6-1. The Mustangs would go on to win the match 6-2 over the Hematites. Believe it or not, the high school golf season ends next week with the Division 1, 2, and 3 finals. Before the players can turn their attention to the UP finals, the GNC and NPC conference golf meets are both tomorrow morning, so there's still plenty of golf left to be played. Several UP teams gathered at the Marquette Golf Club today for one more tune-up round. We begin with the boys on the par 4 13th. Here's the second shot for Nagani's Dave Rinaldi. After a terrific drive down the chute, Rinaldi puts the ball on the back half of the green. He would finish the hole with a par. Next up, Westwood Connor Mason, who decided to putt from just off the green. Mason feeds the ball down to the hole and just a tad too fast to fall in. He would settle for a five. Marquette's Brett Specker had himself a lengthy birdie putt, and as you see the speed right on, but just breaks a little bit to the left at the end, gives Specker a four. Robbery of the day goes to Calumet's Austin Riley trying to save par of the ball. Yeah, just didn't want to go home. I give Riley a lot of credit. He was upset, but he kept his composure. My putter would have been in a lake or somewhere in the woods. Let's go to the results. The top three boys teams were separated by just seven strokes. Houghton won the boys meet with a team score of 322. Five better than Marquette and seven better than Kingsford. Marquette's Brett Specker earned medalist honors by firing a 73. Let's check out how the girls did today. Valerie Darnell of Calumet found herself in a bit of shrubbery on 18, but Valerie gets the ball rolling and the ball would do the rest. She would knock in the next putt to finish out the hole. Here's Westwood's Lauren Farley with a very long putt from nearly off the green and Farley gets it as close as she would from there and knock it in. Next up on the docket, we have Hannah Crampton of Marquette. After watching everyone else putt, Hannah feeds it just past the hole to the left. The ball would stop and Crampton would finish out the hole and move on to the next one. Gladstone's Hannah Delaire would quickly and confidently sink a short five footer to finish up on 18. To the team scores. It was a clean sweep today for Houghton as the Gremlins also won the girls meet with a team score of 397. They were only girls squad to shoot under 400 today. Nicely done. Followed by Houghton, or followed, following Houghton, I should say, was Marquette and Calumet in second and third. Houghton's Megan Kelly won medalist honors by firing 
and 85. 